Hey, we're recording. Um, hey, Barry, it's uh, the Reverend, and we're here for SPL today with James Alessandro once again. Um, and we're going to look at version 3 software for the M7-3L console from uh, Yamaha. So, James, uh, take it away. Tell us what's going on. Well, I'll preface with saying uh, I mix for a fairly decent-sized church here in town, um, and we use every aspect of I.O. on the M7. I do... Uh, all 56 inputs including the stereo channels and we're doing 22 mixes of ears full back from front of house so we're making this console really really busy and uh, probably the the three top things that stuck out to me when we've uh, gone through the progression of the version 3 software I mean we're into version 3.5 now but since version 3 software um, we've got uh, uh, in the rack they gave us uh, additional uh, some additional effects that we can use. Everything from the RevX hall, room, plate, uh, the 276 compressors, uh, the 260 compressors, um, the EQ and open deck, those were all new additions in version 3 um, and have been a really cool addition uh, as far as effects go because uh, anybody that's an old Yamaha guy, the RevX stuff has been around for quite a while and really good. Uh, sounding reverbs and that was on that stuff's been on the 5d for forever uh, right correct i believe since just about day one okay um then uh in the scene memory uh section uh you know the m7 is capable of holding 300 different scenes but if you're doing some sort of a theatrical type play which we do at the church uh two times a year and each of those we probably have about 100 to 120 different scenes um they've given this whole global paste function where uh I can pick stuff from, uh, you know, input and output patching or naming uh, different things uh, as far as the, the eight racks go, uh, every parameter uh, in output and every parameter in input. And if I need to, let's say, make a change that goes from scene two all the way to scene 80, I can pick the one parameter that I need to to change and tell the console that I wanted to change that parameter in every scene so that instead of having to type in you know that that change and storing it 80 times I can just do it once and that was a really cool um, new addition on uh, version 3 as well but for me in the amount of IO that I do uh, at the church the coolest thing for me was being able to see the matrixes on the sends on fader now um, and as most of you guys probably know with the M7 you can send every input to a matrix So therefore it uses the matrix more or less like another aux send and being able to put those eight more uh, on fader flip uh, Actually, you really opened up about you know eight more mixes for us to be able to use So instead of being just the 16 auxes that you usually have now I'm able to go uh, all the way up to 24 which is you know infinitely helped me and made it easier so for me, those are probably the top three things. And you said, you said something about the uh, pre and post identification on the screen. Oh, that's correct. Uh, when we just came out uh, with 3.5, I guess, at the beginning of April, um, we'll switch over to an input channel so we can see a little bit of difference here. But uh, on the sends, you see if they have a white line uh, on the, the encoder there, that's indicating that that mix is in pre. And then down here, we'll look on 13 through 16, those have a black line indicating that they are in post. So instead of having to look for the, the signage saying it's in pre or post, you can just take a quick glance and see uh, you know, the difference in the color there. And it's just it was a cool indicator to be able to see uh, a pre or posting just at a glance. Okay, cool. So um, you're using this now on your M7s at the church. Correct. And the M7s here in the shop have all been upgraded too? That's right. We just upgraded this one uh, today. So... Awesome. And how, how, how hard was the process? How long did it take? You know, out of all the uh, digital consoles I've ever updated, the M7 is the easiest. You know, from the time you've tipped it and unlit it, you got about five minutes worth of work, and you can already put the console away. So that's awesome. Thumbs up on that. Okay. Well, I think that's it for the M7 uh, version 3 software, and uh, we're out. Thanks, guys.